that's a new Skylab. Uh, we have a special science conference scheduled today, as you know. We have Dr. Bobich Kohotek, the discoverer of the comet, and he'd like to ask you a few questions when you're ready. Over. Good afternoon, Dr. Kohotek. Good afternoon. It is a great pleasure for me to greet you, Mr. Gibson, Mr. Kerr, and Mr. Pork, as the first human beings studying a comet from outer space. How much do you know about the fact that the final crew of Skylab, SL4, observed a comet for the first time outside of the Earth's atmosphere? In 1973, Dr. Lubosz Kohutek discovered a comet by pure accident. I started with astronomy in Brno and in 1970 I came to Germany. Back then we started observing meteors. These pictures of Halley's Comet were taken in 1910. Another and potentially brighter comet will be observed by the Skylab crew between November and January. It's called Kahootek. Well, we observed Kama Kahootek for the simple reason it was there when we were up. entire program of research was developed for the final crew of Skylab so that they could observe this comet. The comet's coming this way, isn't that correct? It's coming along? Yeah, the com right, the comet path will come in like this. So the comet should be somewhere up here, isn't that right? Well, it respect the sun, but he doesn't see the sun. I think we've been rather fortunate that Comet Kohotek was picked up and discovered quite early so that we could get a good observing program put together to study it. Kahootek found the comet and said, here's a great opportunity, and it turned out it was coming right by at Christmas time. And in the night from March 7 through 8, 1973, I discovered the comet through two photographic plates, and I sent this to Brian Marston in America, who calculated the position and said it would orbit close to the sun and be bright in the sky. Jerry Carey and I were out on a spacewalk at Christmas time and we saw that come around the sun and uh, this is why we were on a spacewalk we saw that it had a sunward spike which was something we did not anticipate. Hey, I can see the comet. Yeah, look at right out there. Okay, I can see the uh, tail behind. Holy cow, yeah, yeah, but I think they're not like that. So it was kind of interesting. We got back in and we both scratched our heads and say, is that right? And then the three of us got out and started drawing uh, what we saw. So I'm going to turn the mic over to Ed now and we'll uh, fire up the close-up camera and get over there and start showing you what we saw. First, the nucleus or the coma, rather, which is a bright region surrounding the nucleus. The tail, which again is the amplification of the one which we previously saw. So it was a real um, interesting thing for us. We have the advantage up here, above the atmosphere. We've been able to see the comet all the way since it started far out from the sun. It came in, undergone a lot of large changes, and now it's on its way away. And again, changing. What we've tried to do is to not only record with the instruments on the ATM, with the instruments down in the airlock, but also to try to put down on paper what we see by eye. We've done that with sketches. And here the trick is to try to put down the details as accurately as you possibly can. And we thought it was going to be a much greater uh, experience than what we saw. But it didn't have the volatiles coming off, so it was not as bright. But from our standpoint, it was still interesting. 
but unfortunately it wasn't as sensational as the ground had hoped it would be. The comet was quickly gone. The comet was gone fairly quickly and no longer visible, and I was no longer interested in meteors or comets. For me, planetary nebulae were more important. So thank you for joining me again for iSkylab. I hope to make more of these type of programs for you. So please click on subscribe, click on like, let me know that you're interested in this. If you want further information, please visit www.searchingforskylab.com where you can find our movie, uh, access to the books that I've written and edited, uh, and all the cool, obscure information you'd like to know about this particular space program.